Come, mortal. We have much to discuss. The secrets I seek rest with Sister Seldina. She still has the means to create more cataclysms, so the danger to Fargrave and Nurin remains. We must ascertain the location of Deadlight and this hidden stronghold the Bladebearers heard mentioned. Everything I know about Deadlight is rumor and conjecture. It is a plane that suffered some great cataclysm in the ancient past, a realm forgotten and lost to time. I had hoped that Madame Wim would know more, but she claims the place is a mystery. Interesting. The Bladebearer clan scouts are indeed competent. Perhaps they can find the trail where we have thus far turned up nothing. Very well. Find Rinkaius and see what he has learned. Meanwhile, I have my own research to conduct. I asked Rinkaius to meet us here in Fargrave. You should find him in the Plaza of Portals. See if his scouts learned anything useful, or if he requires your assistance. In the meantime, I have investigations of my own to attend to. Much of what I study is beyond the limits of your mortal comprehension. But I suppose you have earned some insight into my grand purpose. I plan to study the twisted rod you gave me. I also want to ask the Anchorite about the events at Fort Grief. Did you not see that coming? I'm surprised they remained allies for as long as they did. Valkanaz Nokvraz obviously hated providing support to a mortal, and Sister Seldina clearly despised having Daedric oversight. Certainly not. Nokvraz was attempting to figure out how to build his own cataclysm, you do recall. But we should strike at the waking flame while it is in disarray. Find their hidden stronghold, learn what I require, and then do what you must. Any tool can find a purpose in the correct hand. I sense dormant magic within the rod. And something about the energy reminds me of your Daedrat. Hmm. He does, does he? Interesting. We have seen that the Daedrat's senses are highly attuned. Perhaps there is more to the rod than I originally suspected. I will study it and see what I can learn. Both Rinkaius and the Anchorite mentioned how she disrupted the Cataclysm's power, giving you the opportunity to defeat the Incarnate and destroy the machine. She claims not to know how she accomplished that. Perhaps I can help her understand. I only want to hear her story. Ask her questions. She has indicated that when she tries to access her forgotten memories, the mask causes some amount of discomfort, but I will not personally inflict any harm upon her. Do you not trust me, mortal? Sorry, I was just thinking. Ever since we returned from Fort Grief, I've been having strange visions. More forgotten memories bubbling to the surface. At least, I hope that's what it is. Some mortals who linger in Fargrave for too long go insane. Twice now, something triggered a return of memory. First, when the Collector examined my mask, and then when I disrupted the Cataclyst. But I just see fragments. Nothing clear or precise. Funny, but I think the amulet has something to do with it. Yes, whatever I did to the Cataclyst, and it was me, I'm certain of that, even if I don't understand how. It also charged the amulet. Like what happens to a Lucent when you place it in a Dynamis font. Except this energy draws out my memories. As I said, fragments. Glimpses of clarity in a haze of forgotten moments. I feel loneliness. I see a dark, enclosed space. A flash of blinding light. Nothing very useful or definitive, I'm afraid. Maybe Lyrinth can help me make sense of it.
Caius. We found it. Report, what have you uncovered? You were correct. The mortal Dagonists have broken with Vulcanar's Nakvras. They retreat to a hidden stronghold in Deadlight. The mortal cultists run like scared Banekin. I can smell their fear on the wind. Finish them swiftly, Master, so that we may turn our attention to Nokfroth and destroy him for his treachery. Where is Lirinth, mortal? As you heard, the Bladebearers have found Sister Seldina and her cultists. The Waking Flame has nowhere left to run. I forced a cultist to tell me about Deadlight. It's a broken realm, apparently destroyed by Meirun's Dagon eons ago. He gave it to the cult and they built a stronghold there. A clever hiding place. But the portal to the realm requires a special key. That we have not yet determined. But I have a plan. You must follow one of the groups of cultists, trail them to the portal, and take their key. If the portal key works like the keys to Fargrave, you'll also need the code to operate it. We will search for more cultists. Here, the locations my scouts found in the Deadlands. I suggest you start in the Sever. Find a key in the portal and we'll rendezvous before the assault begins. And take the Daedrat with you. His smell offends me. Let us find these mortal cultists and finish with them, Master. Then we can wreak vengeance on the traitorous Nogvras! As you say, Master, I remain in your debt and will do as you command. My nose will guide us, my rage will drive us, and my fury will freeze the cultists in their tracks. Let us hunt, Master. to these cultists before us, Master. That's the cipher we need, Master. Perhaps Rinkaius' plan will work after all.
through. This place reeks of the mortal cultists. Now we know where the portal is, Master, but it's warded against beings such as myself. Prudent! <laughs> the symbols properly, it should open the way to Deadlight. We have what we need, Master. The Deadlight portal lies to the west, beyond the blood pits. Incursion. These mortals are more resourceful than I imagined. You did well to find this place, Rinkaius. Ah, mortal. Let us confer. Good. I was worried about you out there on your own. On your own? Who is Arox the Mutilator? Chop Ogrim Spittle? Since you found your way to this portal, I assume you also recovered a portal key and the cipher necessary to activate it? Very good. And I also assume that you heard Rinkaius? Sister Saldina warded this portal not just to prevent my entry, but any other Daedric entity as well. Neither I, nor Rinkaius, nor Aerox will be able to step through this portal. Learn whatever you can about the Cataclyst and Sister Saldina's plans. Then I suppose you will want to kill Saldina for the sake of Fargrave and Nern. Just keep an eye on the Anchorite. The events at Fort Grief have triggered an onset of memories. Did I say I was concerned? Just watch her. Neither we nor the Anchorite know what her memories will eventually reveal. Who she really is. None of us may like the answer. Go. We will wait here. Try not to destroy anything I may want to examine later. I'm ready when you are. Lead the way, friend. Yeah. Don't worry, my friend. I won't fail you. The memories remain distant, confusing, but I won't let them get in my way. I'll help you find Sister Seldina and put an end to the Waking Flame. I swear it. Rinkaius and I will guard this place. Make sure nothing follows you to Deadlight. You can handle whatever awaits you in that shattered plane. Just gather what information you can and deal with Sister Seldina. And keep an eye on the Anchorite. I hoped to punish the Waking Flame for their offenses against my kin, but I cannot reach this ward. You 
must mete out vengeance for me, mortal. Do not disappoint me. And try not to die in Deadlight. We still need to deal with Varkanaz Novkroz. told me about this place. Mehrun's Dagon chased some long-forgotten enemy to this realm and laid waste to the plain. Then he awarded it to his mortal cultists, and they built a citadel here. It seems... familiar. I don't know. It's just a feeling. I'm getting those kinds of impressions all the time now. Like the dam has cracked and the memories are spilling out. I wonder what it will be like when the dam finally bursts. Nothing that will help us find Sister Seldina or another Cataclyst, if that's what you're hoping. It's just a feeling. Let's keep moving. We should search for a way into the Citadel. And let's try not to alert the entire fortress that we're here. where it leads. This looks like an archive of some sort. Let's see if it contains anything that can help us. We've entered an archive. We've entered an archive of some sort. 
Maybe we can find secrets related to the Order of the Waking Flame. Emperor Morica personally ordered Ella Giant to design the Cataclysm for Mayrun's Dagon. We've entered an archive. Seldina bore a child to Emperor Morica because she thought Mayrun's Dagon told her to? That's crazy, isn't it?
Mona worships destruction because she sees Mayrune's Dagon as a way to repair the design of Magnus by destroying the world. So they forced Ella Gion to have visions and create the Cataclyst as part of some deal between the Longhouse Emperors and Mayrune's Dagon. But when Morakar wanted to ensure that his heirs ruled the world, Seldina wants to see the world destroyed. Yes, can you believe it? They think they can make more of those terrible incarnates, and faster too. But have they built this new device, or do we still have time to stop them? She believes that Mayrun's Dagon will destroy the world with fire in order to remake it. After suffering at the hands of the Reach, she took up with Emperor Morika and joined the Waking Flame. Like she was trying to remake herself as well. Right, a daughter. I suppose she'd be Emperor Leovic's half-sister. Have you heard of anyone coming forward with such a claim? I'm not totally current on happenings in Tamriel, but... Even in Fargrave, we hear rumors. Come on, we should keep searching. to the altar. Can you take a look, please? Idea, and then suddenly, the memories are overwhelming. I see other people, hear their voices. They're filling the room. Yes, I've been here before. The amulet, it's like it's singing to me. I want to try something. The power I summoned to deal with the Riven Cataclyst. I think I can do that again. The amulet reacted when I did that before when I was focusing on the Cataclyst. This time, I want to focus on the amulet. I think it will answer me. By unlocking everything this mask has been keeping from me. I remember things that aren't here now. A totem in the stands, a starry globe, something in the mural. Watch closely when I concentrate on the amulet. I think you might see them too. If you see any of the items I mentioned, move closer and examine them. Uh, it's too much. Do you see them? Hurry and take a closer look. Do you know why I brought you here, novice Maraid? I... I do not, revered sister. Because I could not leave you in isolation any longer. You must know the truth. You are the daughter of Emperor Morakar. And I am your mother. We will finish your training here. Do not disappoint me. When Magnus saw the mortal world was flawed, he abandoned its creation. Foolishly, the other gods proceeded and doomed us to suffering. Learn this well. Joy is an illusion. Love is a lie. What became of Magnus, Mother? Magnus watches from the sun, waiting to repair what the others set amiss. 
You will give him that chance, Maraid. Everything depends on you. I don't understand the lesson of this tapestry. What does it mean? Mehrun's Dagon stands before Magnus as a weapon of hope. He possesses the power to shatter the mortal world, so it can be remade. But a spark within the world is required to summon Dagon's cleansing fire from oblivion. You, my child, will be that spark. Oh, Mother, I... I can't do that. You dare deny your destiny, Maraid? The blood of emperors flows through your veins. This is your purpose. You will see it done. Time is short. The mask will control your powers, protect you from them. And as long as you wear it, all will forget you, including yourself and your mother. Thank you, Elagian. I can't do as she asks. I won't be responsible for the end of the world. I will forget you too, my Reed. But I will leave you with my name, and I'll hold on to your father's amulet. If you ever need your memories, find me. The amulet is the key. This portal will take you to Fargrave, to a new life and a new world. Feels like shattered glass, reflecting images from a thousand shards. How can I sort through it all? Years of missing memories, flooding back in near moments. What happened after I placed the amulet on the altar? Then you know, Sister Seldina is my mother, a consort of Emperor Morica. Is that why I was hidden away? Raised in secret? Gods. She raised me to destroy the world with an army of incarnates. To kill so many innocent people. It's all coming back. Elegion was ordered to make me a mask to protect me from my powers. But he secretly altered it to hide me from the Dagonists. From my mother. I have to confront her. If I can remember her now. And she can remember me, too. No. I want her to see what I've become. The girl she tried to turn into a weapon is the same woman tearing down her wretched cult. The power of the mask is broken. I'm Moraid, but I'm also the Anchorite. And I'm through hiding from my past. Sister Seldina must be nearby. I'll put an end to this myself. are attacking! Nakfrost broke through the wards!
Maraid. Together, we can destroy Nern and set everything around. Get away. I refuse to be your weapon, Mother. I'm here to stop you. Foolish girl. You do not know what you are, and I do not need your cooperation. You must submit. I should have waited for you. You have to stop her! You dare turn my daughter against me? You will be cleansed in the fire that remakes the fool! You cannot stop what is coming! for Mehrun's Dagon. And after that, your world shall fall! My amulet friend! Keep it safe! Can you hear me, mortal? I'm opening a path to Fargrave. Hurry! Vakanas Nakvraz and an entire cohort of Dromora attacked the portal to Deadlight. They overwhelmed and eventually shattered the ward. Rinkaius and I were forced to retreat. It seems I retrieved you just in time. Wait, where is the Anchorite? Why would Vakanas Nakvraz take the Anchorite? We saw that she had some power over the Cataclyst. But what use of that would Nokfrost have? Unless... Could he have succeeded in building his own Cataclyst? You unlocked her memories? Overcome the power of her mask? Interesting. And Nokfrost has a... What did you call it? A perfected Cataclyst. Tell me, what did the Anchorite remember? The daughter of a Longhouse Emperor and a powerful follower of Mehrun's Dagon. That's a recipe for, quite literally, disaster. But why did Nokfroz take the Anchorite? We can't allow Nokfroz to harm the Anchorite or spill a drop of her blood. We will deal with that shortly. You ended the threat of Sister Seldina and revealed things I did not know. I am satisfied with that, little mortal. Take this with my thanks. We can't leave the Anchorite in Valkanaz Nokfraz's hands. That would be a very bad idea. He can use her blood to create devastatingly powerful incarnates, abominations even I could not stand against. We must assault his fortress, Ardent Hope. I always have a plan, mortal. We will require allies for this. Rinkaius and his blade bearers, and a way to get inside. The Waking Flame portal key will do, if we can attune it properly. And we need Aerox. He should be familiar with Ardent Hope. Portal keys, when properly attuned, can open paths where none existed before. But we require an expert for this. Talk to Madam Wim, little mortal. She likes you. Convince her to help. If we have to assault the front gate, then we've already lost. Go on. 
Use your charms to convince Madame Wim to aid us once more. In the meantime, I want to try another spell of identification on the twisted rod you recovered from an Ilark summit. I believe I am close to determining its original purpose. Why would it? They were allies mere moments ago. I doubt he expects trouble from a group of mortals he despises. It's possible the key already contains the coordinates to enter the fortress. I assume Sister Saldina visited the place many times. Perhaps, if time were not an issue. Besides, I can open my own portals to locations I am familiar with. I rarely use portal keys. We require an expert, and Madame Wim knows more about secret portals and byways than anyone in Fargrave, including me. Mortal blood and Daedric essence perform similar functions, and blood tied to rituals makes them more powerful. The cataclysts are basically rituals made manifest. Royal blood flows through the Anchorite's veins. That makes it valuable indeed. You gave it to me to study. I studied it. It protects its secrets very well, but I have learned a few things while you were busy in Deadlight. It is an old relic that contains an enchantment as twisted as its form. It is disconcerting. Not exactly, not yet. But Aerox's essence is somehow tied to the relic. That could be why he was attracted to it. I will continue to examine it as time permits. Who knows? It may have a use we can exploit should the need arise. It is one of the 777 impregnable citadels that house Mayroon's Dagon's legions. Nokvros commands the garrison, protected by a cabal of Dramora blood adepts. That's why we need Aerox once we get inside. If we believe the Daedrat, he was once a mighty Daedra in service to Mayroon's Dagon, as well as Nokvros's superior. If that is true, then he must know how to navigate the fortress. If we attempt a frontal attack, we'll never reach the Anchorite. It is a vast fortress. Nokfrost does not personally oversee everything that goes on within its walls, but the perfected Cataclyst, or the daughter of Emperor Morikar, those are of vital interest to him. Nokfrost will guard them well. We have the same chance we always have, and we will find a way. What you told me raises questions about the Anchorite that I must have answers to. And you do not want Mehrun's Dagon's plans to succeed. So we shall deal with Nokfros, together. Volkanaz Nokkros will come for far brave next whim. My blade bearers and I will not wait for that. Ah, my favorite mortal returns. I do appreciate when Lyrinth deigns to share you with me. Don't mind Rinkaius. He believes that every problem can be solved with a sword. I do hope you have a more interesting topic to discuss with me. You too? Ardent hope is Valkanaz Nakras' seat of power, and it now appears that he is supreme among Mehrun's Dagon's vassals. I do not see why you all insist on making him your enemy. And if he succeeds, I would be foolish to defy the new regime. Still, it would be irksome to live under the Prince of Destruction's authority. At least you have a slightly better idea than a frontal assault. The blade bearers are fools to consider it. Hmm. This key would allow me to open a portal directly into the fortress, which might give you a chance, no matter how slim. Very well. There's an old portal dais in the burn south of Ardent Hope. Meet me there and I will attune your key. I can't abide the anchorite in Vulcanaz Nokros's grip, not out darling at the alleys. 
Let me gather some materials and recall the proper incantations. Then I will collect Lyrinth and meet you with the old portal dais in the burn, south of Ardent Hove. Need? No, but it will make the attunement easier. Once a network of portal daises crisscrossed the Deadlands, the fortress was built around one of them. Most have been forgotten and are no longer utilized, but that doesn't mean the magic has faded. I was not always the entrepreneurial Mazken who stands before you. Long ago, I played at amassing influence by pledging myself to the Daedric Princes. I learned many secrets during those dalliances, including ways into and out of secure locations. Drozu, gather the blade bearers. We must attack Ardent Hope before Nokvros makes his next move. Our swords are yours to command, Ring Caius. I would have preferred an army of Fargravians at our backs, but this will work too. While you and Lyranth use Wim's portal to infiltrate the fortress, my blade bearers will launch an assault on the front gate. The battle will be glorious. Perhaps, but defeat does not mean the same thing to my kin as it does to you, mortal. Death is not the end for the blade bearers. At least not death in battle. For what Nokroz did to our clanmates, however, he must suffer. Vengeance is an honorable goal. Besides, your best chance to rescue the Anchorite is for my clan to draw the attention of ardent hope. And ours requires you to deal Nokvros a grievous blow. This is how we tear down our foe, and I will see it done. You plan to sneak into Ardent Hope, Master? Then let me accompany Rinkaius and the Blade Bearers. Arox the Mutilator should be at the head of our vanguard when they assault the front gates of the fortress. been largely driven from the city. Bray considers this development. The cult's votives no longer affect the mortals of Fargrave, then. Yes, a relief to be sure. Bray ponders this with regret. The mortals were more interesting when the cult toyed with their emotions. by matching the stones with the runes nearby, while I attune the portal key.
Something is new to me. The key is attuned and the dais activated, mortal. Now, come and retrieve your portal key. Here you are, a freshly attuned portal key. Carry it with you, and the portal will deposit you inside Ardent Hope. After that, matters are in your hands. I do hope Lirand has a plan for what to do once you get there. For you, sweet mortal, always. Let Lirand and the others worry about these affairs, and come back to Fargrave with me. Your life is short enough. Why risk it on this fool's errand? I can promise that our association would be mutually satisfying. Oh, I was only having a bit of fun. You are so deliciously stoic. And correct, I must admit. Merun's Dagon has long coveted Fargrave's doors to the many realms. Do not let Nokroz use our fair anchorite to accomplish that. Remember, distraction. What else would you call the Bladebearer's action? While they draw the attention of Nokroz's forces, you must move quickly. You have until the last Bladebearer falls. Use that time wisely. And I do hope you survive. For aesthetics, if nothing else. The Blade Bearers will keep the fortress's defenders occupied. Leave that to your clan, Rinkaius, and come with us. We could use your sword. I will face Nogvraz in open battle, in the sight of my kin. That is the path of honor. Well said, Blade Bearer, but I will destroy Nogvraz. Master, a word. We must reach the Anchorite before Valkanaz Nokfroz can use her blood to fuel his perfected cataclyst. Obviously, he seeks to create his own incarnates. I'd prefer not to have to face such a creature. Now collect Aerox and let us be off. Rinkaius and his blade bearers will assault the front gate, drawing the attention of Valkanaz Nokfroz's forces. Meanwhile, we will infiltrate using the attuned portal key and attempt to remain undetected as we search the fortress for the Anchorite. We must prevent Nokfroz from using her blood to fuel his device. I admit I want to examine his so-called perfected cataclyst. This entire notion of changing the unchangeable intrigues me, but I have no desire to face another of those incarnates. Let's just say I have an idea on how we may utilize it if worse comes to worse. Just keep Aerox close. His knowledge of the fortress is essential if we're to make our way through the interior undetected. Good hunting, mortal. My blade bearers and I will draw the ire of Nogvroz's army while you infiltrate the keep. It is a great opportunity to prove the might of my clan. Today we repay Merun's Dagon's servants with pain and sorrow. A mortal worry. We are Dremora. We do not die. We return. And Bladebearers do not fear pain. We exist for battle and glory. Valkanaz Nokvroz has risen high among the kin, but we will prove stronger. It is our way. The stronger will fight for his position. The weaker will await the rise of a new leader. Nogvroz commands obedience with his strength alone. None are proud to serve him. They know he won his place by making a staircase from his followers. The paths of oblivion are dark and strange, mortal. None can say how long his reformation might take. But even if Nokvroz returns immediately, he will bear the dishonor of defeat. Who would serve a Valkanaz too weak to defend his own fortress? Lirenth is correct, Master. Before I was cursed with the form you see before you, I commanded ardent hope. I know its many rooms and passages as well as I know the back of my tail. And you will need me when you confront the traitorous Nokfroz. Hate is too weak a word for what I feel, Master. 
I do not begrudge him for chafing under my rule. That is the Deadlands way. It is natural to challenge those above you. But Nokfrons chose the path of cowardice. He must answer for that. Did Nokfrons face me in open battle? Did he strike me down with his own strength and fervor? No! He resorted to a trickster's curse. His actions revealed his fear, not his power. He has not earned his place at the head of Lord Dagon's armies. I... I do not know. I would certainly be more worthy than Nogfoss, but Merun's Dagon allowed that worm to replace me through trickery and deceit. I gave Lord Dagon my unstinting loyalty. But where was his loyalty to me? Uh, we should go, Master. As you say, Master. Then north to reach the inner keep. Distraction, just as Rinkaius promised. Let us not waste it. To the inner keep. Curse this wretched form! I once had claws that could tear these walls asunder! may be nearby. Nokfrost harvests the Anchorite's blood. She may not survive the process. The blood I smell. It's not the Anchorite. He smells. He broke it.
me. I sense her presence as well. There. Blood Lord Zaba. And he has the Anchorite. Let us listen in. Dagon. I'll destroy that device just like I destroyed the Riven Cataclyst. Vulcanaz Nakfras, cast down the foolish Arox and purge the Order of the Waking Flame. You will submit too. Bring her. Nakfras awaits us in the volcano. And you there, in the shadows. We will deal with you soon enough. <laughs> foolish! When I am restored, I will return and slaughter them all! Another time, Aerox. How do we reach that volcano? Through the door to the north. Soon, Nakvros will feel my wrath! of most of the fortress, but they will not endure much longer. We must hurry. Falter. These are the mighty blade bearers. Neil Rinkaius, or Vulcanar's knock for us will erase your clan from existence. The path to the cataclysm lies ahead, but the blade bearers are in trouble. If they fall, all eyes will turn toward us as we ascend. We will never reach the anchorite. Perhaps now is the time to release the magic stored in the Twisted Rod. I am guessing, but a guess is all I have. I believe that the Twisted Rod holds the key to breaking Aerox's curse. The magic inside it, it's Aerox's true form. If I break the rod, Aerox would be restored to his former glory, for a time. Time, or lack thereof, is the issue. If I had more of it, I could work out a permanent solution. But if we break the rod without removing the curse, it may restore Aerox, at least until the curse reasserts itself. We could certainly use his power. If we want to save the Blade Bearers and the Anchorite, yes. I will also need to stay behind. I can stave off the curse, but even that won't allow him to retain his true form for long. Take the rod and decide quickly, mortal. As I said, time is short. Break the rod! Release me to seek my vengeance! I demand it! The magic is released. Get ready, Daedrat. Your final flight is about to begin. The wrath of Aerox the Mutilator! Behold your doom! Aerox has returned! Run! Blade Bearers, on your feet! Rally to me! Come, mortal! I can smell Nakwaz's fear! Take the path of cinders, and I will help you reach the Anchorite! Go, mortal! The Blade Bearers will aid you as we can!
against my true form. <laughs>
sure you'd come for me, but I'm glad you did. Wait. Do you feel that? Something's coming. Oh. oh no. Look for those underestimated. You are indeed powerful. For mortals. Hargrave, how I missed you. Well thought, all of you. Lord Aerox, it was an honor to share a battlefield with you. Yes. Forever they will fear my name. No matter what form I wear. Back to the House of Whims. We need time to recover. And to talk. Walk the streets with pride, mortals. You saved Fargrave. And most likely Nairn, as well. But did you hear? Mayrun's Dagon yes. said he had plans for me. The Prince of Destruction took note of you, Anchorite. You overcame his most powerful there minions. There has to be more to it than that. My mother, Sister Seldina told me I would help Mayrun's Dagon destroy the mortal world. A false prophecy, perhaps? Let it lie for now. I suppose. I just have a feeling this isn't over. Not yet. There is always another battle. But you need not seek it today. champion. With the defeat of the traitor, Nakras, our honor is once again unquestioned, and Fargrave remains safe for the independent clans. You fight like us, so celebrate like us. Bask in the glory you have earned. Follow the orders of my kinreeve, of course. But if I must guess, I think Rinkaius will keep us in Fargrave for now. I am sure a few waking flame cultists still skulk around, hoping to escape punishment. They should be disabused of that hope. I did not expect a mortal could achieve such success. But then, perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. You have brought great honor to the Bladebearer clan. And you have earned my respect. Lord Sir the Seal, I didn't expect to see you here. I can't state firmly enough how bad it would have been if Falconar's Nakvras and his incarnates gained control of Fargrave. Your victory was pivotal to countless futures. Broadly speaking, the innumerable lives within the reach of that unusual place would have been turned for the worse. Speaking as a Psijic, the scale and scope of the forces at work were capable of drifting beyond our shared temporal experience. I doubt Nakraz had the imagination to use Fargrave's unique properties in such a way, but the potential for unintentional disruptions was within the realm of possibility. Regardless, you've changed things for the better. We all owe you our thanks. There's no more cause for concern. 
Once I was able to wrap my head around the concept, navigating the ever-shifting nature of this realm has become almost second nature. Though I must appear a flailing novice compared to Master Irving. I wandered alongside him for a time, observing. Master Irving's a remarkable being. He seems to read the flow of the Eleventh Force so clearly, he's practically precognitive, though he never once attempted to alter its course. Only puzzling. I don't know whether Irving can't affect the force of change or simply chooses not to. In our travels, he simply drifted along its currents like a cork in a river, pushed harmlessly aside by the ripples and rapids of turbulent events. Tufe doesn't want to draw you away from the festivities, but she recognized you. You helped her out by the reformatory. Did this one hear you stop the cultist's plans again? Thank you. You've helped more than just Two-Face family. This one retraced her steps. The path to the portal was well worn by those ever-burning cultists. Tufei even gathered the courage to free some of the cult's prisoners whenever she came across a group of the flame-cursed kidnappers. Knowing her sister's fate changed Tufei. She lacks combat skills, but she knows how to be quiet and where to cut. Tufei won't bore you with the details, but she hopes to free every innocent person from the Waking Flame's clutches. It is. But Tufei now knows the impact one skilled adventurer can have. She will train herself and set off when she can do some good. You have proven yourself in realms where most mortals fear to tread. I will remember your name, mortal. Vaim of the Bladebearers would be honored to fight by your side. Chainbreaker. It is good to see that you survived Ardent Hope. Though we do not often make such alliances, the Blade Bearers will stand with you whenever you call. You have earned this honor. King Reeve Rinkaius was right to trust you, mortal. I look forward to seeing how your legend grows. Quite the cause Solaire brought you. It seems that while I busied myself with other affairs, you assailed the fortress of a Dramora warlord and escaped the Lord of Destruction himself. If I'm not careful, your reputation may begin to outshine my own. Once again, my mistress, the Dread Lady, Lyrinth the Dramora, deigns to share her infinite wisdom with a chosen mortal. Why she continues to choose you, I have no idea. No matter, are you prepared to hear the words of the Dread Lady? Rumors of what you've done have flown across plains. Can't say I'm too surprised after what I saw in that citadel. Don't know how you see yourself, but you're a hero to the entire Kalmar clan. I reached an awful town called Wretched Spire. From there, I hitched a ride with a merchant caravan headed this way. I'm learning a lot about the people living beyond our home. Villages, families, communities exist in places I didn't expect. Need to keep moving, you know. Maybe find another caravan, head to more strange cities. Learn more than I could have ever thought. Eventually, I'll go back to Nern. But not for a while.
They say you destroyed Volcanaz Nakvraz, and even escaped Lord Mehrun's Dagon himself. Surely this is some jest. If not, hmm, perhaps I misjudged your strength. avoiding death, but at least your path is one of your own choosing. I do so adore a conquering hero, my darling. Do you like the welcome I prepared? It was the best I could do on short notice. Lirinth awaits you upstairs, but know that I plan to show you all the pleasures of the House of Whims later. No charge. Neither Madam Wim or I will forget the service you've done for us. Not even after the la I admit, I'm kind of at a loss. Destroying the Cataclysts. Fighting Dagon's servants, confronting my own mother. The world was simpler when the mask hid me from myself. It's going to take a lot of time to sort through my recovered memories. Do I know the truth? Some things still remain hidden. I know who my mother and father were, yes, but I don't recall much about my childhood. I couldn't tell you where I grew up or who raised me. And I don't know what Mayrun's Dagon wants with me. Grave offers some protection, at least. Mehrun's Dagon's Daedric servants can't violate the stricture. But I can't hide from the Prince of Destruction forever, and I don't really want to try. I can't rest yet. There are still pieces missing from the puzzle of who I am. I think I'd better find them before I face Mehrun's Dagon again. Where will that take me? Who knows? No matter what, I'm still the Anchorite. I like who I've become. You earned my respect, mortal, and that of all my blade bearers. I hope we will fight by your side again one day. Until then, watch over the Anchorite. I made light of Mirren Stegon's words, but there is purpose in everything he says. Many of my kin fell, most of them, in fact. We were sorely outnumbered by Valkanaz Nokfraz's forces, but I do not grieve, mortal. Those whose bodies were destroyed in ardent hope will return soon enough. And every blade bearer fell with honor. No kin goes willingly into the dark, mortal. We fight hard to stave it off just as you would. And I will miss my clan brothers and clan sisters until they return. Some I will see again soon. Others I may not see again for a prince's age. Our feud with Nokvros and his minions is over. Those of my kin who suffered at his hands have been avenged. And the tale of our wrath will be told far and wide. But I shall be keeping an eye on Mehrun's Dagon's forces from now on. Just in case. Gratitude is a mortal concept. Still, you can.
carried me until I was able to fly once more. That deserves recognition. I will simply say this. You are the first mortal I do not wish to eat. I did not do it for you or the Anchorite Master. I did it because it offered my best chance for vengeance. Had I chosen the safe course, Nokfroz would have been beyond my reach by the time Lirenth found a way to break the curse permanently. <laughs> you do not know as much about Daedra as you think, Master. We are patient, for time is on our side. In some century to come, I will find another way to break this curse. But even if I do not, our triumph over Vulcanor's Nokvros lives forever. Lirinth has been a bad influence on me. I confess I am curious about your doings. Mortals, that is. I think I will follow you for a time and see what else befalls you in this realm. Who knows? You might find something else that can break my curse. All has turned out to my satisfaction. I learned what I needed to, and you eliminated the threat of incarnates laying waste to Fargrave and the mortal world. And with Sister Seldina and Valkanaz Nokvros gone, none remain to build new cataclysts. You have served me well, and I have a certain fondness for you, mortal. But do not presume that we are friends. Dramora have no need of such things. And I will not share my secrets with you. They are mine, and mine alone. Let us talk of other things. The Anchorite has demonstrated the ability to survive whatever hardships come her way. She will sort out her memories and come to terms with her parentage, eventually. And she should be safe here in Fargrave. The Stricture will see to that. It would have been difficult even before you chose to break the Twisted Rod. Without the Relic, the Endeavor seems doomed to failure. I doubt it would be worth my effort to even try. Gratitude is foreign to our natures. I understand the concept only because I know more about mortals than most of my kind. Bargains, though. Should I acquire the means to restore Aerox, he would pay any price for my aid. Hmm. I shall consider that. It is over for now, little mortal. I, too, am curious about the daughter of a longhouse emperor. But thanks to your efforts at Ardent Hope, she remains out of Dagon's hands. You have served both me and your world well. Take this, with my gratitude. We stopped the Waking Flame's threat to Blackwood and saved Fargrave from the Incarnates. But many questions remain unanswered. Mehrun's Dagon is still a threat to your world, mortal, and there are things I still wish to learn. Will you aid me again? You earned my respect. Gratitude is a more.